Hey boys and girls, I'm here with a collection of some shape stories written from uh, the author Mac Barnett and John Klassen. There's a series of three shapes. Can you see? They're probably the longest shape stories you'll ever hear, and I get to read them to you from my house. So without further ado, we're going to start with this shape. This book is all about circle, as you can see. This is circle. This is Circle's Waterfall. One of my favorite things to do outside is hike to waterfalls. Now one day, Circle and Square and Triangle played a game near the waterfall. Here are the rules, Circle said. I will close my eyes and count to ten. You must hide somewhere. When I open my eyes, I will try to find you. Square said, okay. Triangle said, neat. There's one more rule, said Circle. No hiding behind the waterfall. Square said, okay. Triangle said, why not? Because, said Circle, it's dark back there. Square said, okay. Triangle said, I am not afraid of the dark. What do you think is going to happen next? Circle closed her eyes and counted to ten. Ready or not, said Circle, here I come. When she opened her eyes, Square was just standing there. He pointed and said, Triangle went behind the waterfall. Circle sighed. <sighs> I'll go find him. Circle said, Square, you are very brave. I know, said Circle. And she slipped behind the waterfall. Look at how dark the pictures got. It was quiet on the other side of the waterfall. Circle called out, Triangle, Triangle, where are you? And there was no answer. Farther inside, there was not much light. Triangle, Triangle, where are you? There was no answer, so she went even farther. Oh, and the pictures got really dark until it was all dark. We only see her eyes. But now I see two pair of eyes. Triangle said, Circle, there you are. Why do you always break the, all the rules? There was no answer. Why do you always spoil our fun? There was no answer. Why are you such a bad friend? There was no answer. Why do you think there's no answer? I'm sorry, said Circle. I should not have said that you are a good friend. You just made us worried. We love you, Triangle. Thanks, Triangle said from behind her. Circle turned around and said, Triangle? Yes, said Triangle. I am sure glad to see you and Square. Circle said, um, Square's outside. This is not Square. I thought it was you. No, said Triangle, that is not me. No, said Circle. Oh, said Triangle. Who could it be? Circle turned back and faced the shape in the dark. Who are you? She asked. Can you guess what happens? There was no answer. Ah, said Triangle. Triangle and Circle ran very fast back through the dark. Back through where there was not much light. Back through the waterfall, back to the outside. Square was waiting for them. They told him what had happened. Well, Square said, I am glad I stayed here. Triangle said, now I am afraid of the dark. Circle looked back at the waterfall falling. You know, she said, that shape in the dark might not have been bad. It might have been a good shape. We just couldn't see it. Circle closed her eyes. I wonder, Circle said, what kind of shape was it? Then they all closed their eyes and they all pictured a shape. If you close your eyes, what shape do you picture? I know lots of our friends have been drawing hearts or trying to draw hearts. One of my favorite shapes is a star, and it's really tricky to get those straight lines up there, but I love looking at the stars. If you get a chance to one of these days when it's not cloudy, try counting some stars and see what you find. Friends, I'll see you next time for the next shape story. Stay well.